All right, here's my little power supply I made. It's actually a zero to 16 volt supply. Um, so I put a 15 volt meter on it. It's got uh, your lit power button here, but the bulb actually burned out a while back. It's an older switch, so it has a little filament. Um, I'll probably convert that to LED so that uh, it doesn't burn out. Again, um, you got your banana jack outputs. I didn't really have a black one, whatever, just throwing it together. And this guy is a uh, 10 turn pot, so let's check out the inside here. <clears throat> so basically, you can see it's mostly a transformer. <laughs> um, so if we follow, let's just follow that in. So essentially, AC comes in. Uh, it's got a 1 amp fuse on it there. Strain relieved comes in and it gets switched. AC does. Um, and then the output of the switch goes into the transformer. And the other leg of the uh, AC coming in also goes to the transformer. And output of the transformer is down there somewhere. Basically goes into a uh, bridge rectifier, pretty beefy uh, full bridge rectifier down there on the board, big filtering cap, and then um, over here is essentially the voltage regulation unit, and it's an LM338K. So the 338 is actually the 3 amp version of the 317. Uh, and the K is the TO3 case. And you can see it's on a pretty nice heat sink there, so it's not going to overheat. The meter, it's got a uh, uh, resistor there to calibrate it. And uh, let's see here 10 turn pot. So lots of fine adjustment. So I'll turn it on here. And with a 317 or a 338, you always have 1.25 volts minimum. Uh, it just it needs that because it has to bias all of its internal circuitry, so it can't go to zero unless you do some extra circuitry to it. But you can see here, 10 turn pot. Um, I guess I, I didn't really use all 10 turns. Maybe it's a three turn pot. Let's see here. One, two, three. Yeah, it stopped. It's a three turn pot. So I, I guess I did set it up pretty decent there. I guess I could have used some more resolution on my, my pot. It probably goes one and a half times before it hits full scale. And it goes off the scale there. It will go up to 16 volts, but when this is at 15, it's dead on 15 out. So. Oh, I guess I bought that from Radio Shack back in the day. Not salvaged. They did sell good stuff back in the day. Anywho. Um, the other thing to mention here is there's another little regulator down in there, a 12-volt regulator, that supplies power to the bulb inside the switch. So when I convert it to LED, I'll probably change that so that it's a constant current regulator. So it just delivers constant current to the LED, and I won't have to worry about what the voltage is. Uh, any LED then I put in there in the future it will always have that current. Um, so you know 20 to 50 milliamps is probably good. So that's pretty much it. Um, it's a nice little power supply and uh, oh there's one more part on the back here. This guy is a 32 volt 3 amp breaker. So if I draw more than 3 amps that'll pop out and essentially save the day. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed.